Hello, welcome back again. I'm Tara Wahab, founder of Ladder Society. Ladder Society is a non-profit organization that enhances health through art and creativity. We've been in the city of Calgary since 2015. And throughout this time, we have offered several different uh, public art projects, programs, and events, for which we have received very positive feedback. Since the pandemic has started, we have started a new project with artist stories on Instagram Live. Today, we have another amazing artist from India, Madame Lal. I hope that he can uh, join us today because there were some technical difficulties and we are a little bit late, but I hope that he can uh, find us. Let me see if I can actually invite him. There is not a possibility to do that. All right. Well, while I'm waiting for him to join us, I'm just going to play you a music by Shadowplay, a Calgary-based band. Hello. Hello. Hi, good hi. morning. Good morning. Good evening to you. <laughs> yeah, I say good morning and namaste from India. Namaste. Thank you so very much for joining us. Yeah, I say namaste from India and uh, gunaidan from Turkish and uh, you can say sabai ki from Egypt and then it's a double throw from Macedonia, like that, which I am currently have to visit. So I know a few words about this. Say exactly. good morning to all my friends, and Great. thanks. I'm really thankful to uh, Loud Art Society to giving me this platform to sharing my creative journey. Thanks, Tara. Please. Thank you so Continue. much for joining us, Madan. I'm really interested to learn more about you and your artworks. Please uh, introduce yourself to us. Uh, tell us uh, which city you've been born and what kind of art you make. And how long have you been practicing art? I'm audible. Yeah, I can hear you. 
yeah 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 now it's fine very fine good so uh uh my name is madan lal i'm living and working in chandigarh i'm from india so i live in a beautiful city it's designed by the famous architect french architect le corbusier so i did my bachelor degree from college of arts chandigarh and uh, i work in advertising agencies when i passed out from college of art as illustrator then i was work for a few months as a calligraphist in punjab university chandigarh then i joined the famous and uh, it's a distinguished one of the distinguished institute we are called it the institute of design for handicrafts in 90s so in institute of design i i, I was uh, the my job was uh, to create handicraft designs for craft persons of punjab so i create uh, i uh, i create so many designs for craft person for to to just to chase and just to say we can say to uh, adding new uh, elements in their traditional designings so i was uh, used to do embroidery design hand embroidery designs pottery ceramics design the main concept of these designs were very significant contribution in the field of crafts so i create new designs for the markets the my main job was to convert traditional design into contemporary designs so during this process i learned lot creative techniques how to create three dimensional drawings uh, and uh, in the form of we can say when we are drawing the three dimensional 3d drawings to keep in view the volume the shape the size and everything it's a lot of learning in my field in my life so i originally belong to punjab punjab is my uh, parent state so uh, i was studied in primary school where uh, and uh, it's very passionate in from my childhood i was very passionate about drawings about painting so gradually uh, till after plus 1 it was clear ke i have to choose my career as an artist i'm audible hello yeah i'm listening to you yeah 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 so uh, i have working from last 35 year in the field of art in designing and i was also teaching in fashion college in punjab so i teach uh, fashion study basic drawing sketching and uh, other thing and i was also giving honorary post in 90s as an secretary with state academies the state academies means the state art academies the main work of state art academies the promoting art and uh, uh, art uh, with the local artists with the national or international events we are organizing gradually so in 19 uh, uh, in 2016 i received national award from government of india it's a once in a life so it's a biggest award in my life so uh, then i used to go for art exhibitions for art symposiums in macedonia Turkey, Dubai, Egypt. Also, in last year, I was in the Egypt. So I have twenty solo show in my career. It is a different part of India. Group shows in Germany and is also in England in two thousand eight. So, and then it's a lot of uh, uh, group shows with other galleries, art galleries. So it's like that. Uh, I used to paint. Uh, poetry in my life mm-hmm. you can say uh, i paint poetry on my canvas you can feel it you can see it you can 
So that is Listen, that what you would uh, say that the main theme of your paintings are poetry, or how would you describe the theme of your paintings? Yes, uh, naturally, uh, from my childhood, I was uh, very passionate. As I usually we are talking, okay, I want to be artist. Mm -hmm. So initially, I paint on my house walls mm -hmm. and the first drawing as our elders draw in caves. So that kind of doodling I'm used to doing in my house. So gradually uh, I draw faces of my teachers in my primary schools. So it's a, casually it's what habit, this habits grow and I reach college of art. Mm -hmm. From my point of view, art is our first language. Mm -hmm. So it's expression of our natural instincts. Mm -hmm. When you want to see out your feelings, then nature help you to express. I start with lines, colors, then it's become my first language. Mm -hmm. So with the passage of time, I start copy work from calendars, mm -hmm. from different, different calendars, mm -hmm. uh, some goddess calendar, some uh, national leaders calendar. It's like that I start my journey to learning from copy work. Nice. Beautiful. So, um, do you count how many pieces you have created so far at all? Yeah. Uh, wrong about you can say I'm working from my first solo show was in 1993. So I mostly, I have created f more than 500 paintings okay. and I have a hundred sketchbook nice. and I used to draw every morning drawings. So I start my journey from drawings. First of all, I draw and then I uh, transfer my idea on canvas. Nice. That's great. Um... My next question is that would you like to collaborate with other artists? But I think you kind of mentioned that you have had like several. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. yes, sure, sure. Uh, basically, the collaboration uh, with other artists is uh, you are learning a lot of experience from your seniors and from your fellow artists. Sure. The main exposure in artist life is collaboration. Collaboration is, is a blessing to your creative journey. I'm one of the example of this question. I was a student of applied art. Right. My academic specialization is in illustration, advertisement, and other designs. But today I'm practicing painter. I'm practicing artist due to collaboration with my senior fellow artists. I'm regularly traveling in India abroad for art workshop workshops, art symposiums, art festivals, art, art camps. During collaborations, mm -hmm. we learn so many techniques from each other, sharing thoughts, application of different, different materials. And uh, I have a long experience of collaboration with other artists. In my journey, mm -hmm. I visited Sweden, Macedonia, Turkey, Dubai, Egypt, and India, I have participated more than 75 art workshops. You can say before COVID, I used to go every month one or two paid workshops. Yeah. It's not music free of just when we are going Europe and other countries. And yeah. they are sometimes they paid air takes or sometimes it's a, from your own pockets. So, but in India, we are they are paying us traveling loans on Nerium for works and other lodging boarding. So it's, you can say it's a blessed journey for me. I'm celebrating my journey 
with all these things. Great. Nice. Um, now I feel like I want to collaborate with you <laughs> to learn. Yeah, some... sure. You're welcome. I'll invite you in India when you are in sure, uh, SA. <laughs> One day I will. I will visit India for sure. So uh, what are you yeah. working on right now, Madan? Uh, uh, yes, please. What are you working uh, right now on? Are you working on a new okay, thing okay. or something? Yes, yes. Uh, during lockdown, uh, sorry, during lockdown period, I start watercolor to my uh, sketchbooks. Basically, I used to draw with pens on my sketchbooks. I used to draw sketch, and the I conceive the idea what I am searching, what I am. Uh, observing in my surrounding and what uh, i'm getting inspiration from my surrounding so then i'm gradually doodling my work i used to doodling lot of doodling on my sketches on my sketchbooks so first of in the previous time in the previous month of lockdown one month i think one and a half month we are in lockdown so i did lot of watercolor crayons uh dry pastels on my sketchbook so now i have a wonderful collection of 100 sketchbooks mm -hmm. with me so then in regularly i'm working from last 35 year and i used to paint regularly 7 to 6 to 8 hours regularly i'm early painter i'm used to get up early in morning you can say uh, in previous year uh in 90s or 93 i was get up on 4 am sometime and uh, now i am 5 am sometime 5:30 so 3 4 hours in morning i used to paint then in evening and then uh, when i have my job so then in working hours when i get time i used to paint in my studio that's great so, so do you uh, uh uh, or in now the days after lockdown now i am uh, there is some mission work big work mission work so i did now recently it was 4 by 7 feet some are 5 by 5 feet mm -hmm. so it's a gradually going on journey is going on great so you've been very busy that's great do you do you you know is what is the first thing that you do in the morning you just sit down and start painting right away uh no, i'm not listening your voice properly please speak again um do you when, when you wake up in the morning you said you wake up sometimes in five o'clock yeah five, so yes five initially i was woke up on four o'clock okay so then now I'm five o'clock around about five so after uh it's a gradually uh now with the passage of time I'm wake up around five o'clock, and then you start painting right away. You start painting right away in the morning. Yeah, yeah. basically you can see my work. Uh, I love to show my works, but uh, maybe it is possible not. I have to close all the lights. Then you can see my please do slides presentation. Please do. May I do? Of course. Okay, yeah. fine, fine. For a few minutes. Sure. I'm trying. Okay. It's okay. We are waiting. Yes, yes, yes. So we can share our next question, maybe uh, like the, I can say, yeah. Do you have your sketchbooks yeah. around too? Yeah, I will show my painting. I have sketchbook, lot of sketchbook with me, but I uh, put my works on the wall. You can ah, see. Beautiful. 
Yes. These are my previous work. So now it's a one work on Gandhi. It's a online exhibition. You can see. I just working on this painting. Very nice. So, yeah, this is my workplace. You can see. It's a lot of colors and all the things. <laughs> yeah, everything here. Very nice. Yeah. So, Madan, last night uh, you sh you shared uh, a YouTube video with me of the you know the slides of your artworks. Yes. Yes. And so then, I'm. I'm uh, oh, you have your works there. Okay. You can see that maybe? Yes, yeah, no, I'm doing that. Yes, okay. yes. Okay. I'll ask my question later then. <laughs> hmm. I will show a few minutes to my work, then okay. it's a gradual, I think it's a better. Sure. Mm. Okay, this is better. Yeah, it's fine. Now you can see. I think you need to move your camera slightly towards the right. Yes, I'm, I'm yeah. moving. I'm moving. Okay, yeah. Great. Okay, a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Great. Oh, it's fine. Great, yes. Now we can see. So most of your paintings, uh, I was just reading the titles. It was about the journey within. Can you explain? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I can explain. This series is around about 2003, 2002. This series was the Maya. The basically, I take inspiration from mythology of Indian mythology, and this series was uh, I paint in 2002. Like this, a Maya series. Right. And it's a music within Maya, uh, it's a journey within like that. Right. This is also the music within. Very nice. Yeah, hopefully uh, you will see better from here. I'm trying to show much better. Uh, yes, now it's oh. fine. Yes, yeah. No, it's a good. Yes, we can see that. That's great. So all of your works are in. Um, yes, a, I'm showing you work is it 2004, 2004. Mm -hmm. uh, This series was music within. Okay. So I used to paint acrylic on canvas, basically. Uh, as I use, I think it's a layers of thought, and then I transfer uh, in my colors layer yeah. on canvas. There's also music within, like we have a lot of layers, and every time there's one music which is continue in our body, in our mind, and our in this cosmos. So I'm trying to. Uh, weave this music into canvas. I'm trying to find the chords of this music and then transfer in my uh, language then on canvas then again. Right. Beautiful. Very nice. So a lot of journey. You can see yeah. it's a music within. Then I have one beautiful idea in 2007. Okay, we are living in this planet and we f we are uh, filled with boredom on this planet so now human being want to move from this uh, from this planet with his all beloveds with all his uh, the essential things so this journey was journey toward another planet yeah this series the title of journey toward an planet it's beautiful so he yeah, he take his uh, all the things. Even he takes seeds 
to grow on other planet yeah so this series was my this series was very uh, connected with uh, form of animal and face of human being mm -hmm. we say human beings are very intelligent and uh, animal body is very flexible so i fusion the both i take the face of human and body of animal so this series was journey within the whole human being have evolution within and now with the, i think corona again our evolution is start exactly yeah yeah so we are from last one year we all are having evolutions how to save how to survive how human being will survive from this epidemic from this so it's a dance within nice. so this is so i will show music within journey so i have lot of work so basically i want to show you now is it visible work is visible of course yes yeah really nice <clears throat> So was this all part of one series or these are separate series the uh, the journey within and then the music within uh, they are all part of one series Yeah I used to paint in series okay. I'm not you uh, means keep painting one painting two painting sometime I paint two year sometime I paint four year a one series So okay. this series was very long series 2007 yeah. 8 then 9 you can see change I will show the nine. It's a nine. Yes. It's a urban emotions. Okay. The, the persons are connecting with more urban things, and he uh, disconnect from his own instincts, from his own feelings. So it's morning tea. Then it's a start with journey with bulls. It's a bull. And then I start it to the nine to start paint bull. So I sell too much bulls. I say also bull. journey with bull journey with bull <laughs> miss bull i take a symbol of uh, energy okay. power and and and, and th this kind of the domination okay. okay bull is mean symbolize i'm not using to draw not me of bulls mm -hmm. i'm converting human energy in the form of in the shape of bull nice really interesting yeah this is urban emotions then is a series based on relationship of human being relationship of is a lock you can see this work yeah the human the human is also like locks locks <laughs> and everybody want to uh, in search of golden key to open every human beings yeah <laughs> <laughs> so it's like that technology yeah that's <laughs> yeah, a log is it basically we all are like the logs yeah. sometimes we are so introvert we are not so expressive sometimes we are not so uh, uh having expression so we become like logs right and uh, you can see form of human being in logs you're right yeah So yeah, this is flight <laughs> within. Yeah, this this work is flight within. Basically, every person uh, we have imagination. K, our roots are in the sky. Yes. So our we are ever we always thinking our roots are not on the earth. We have to go somewhere else. So our roots are in the sky. So every person want to fly. Every person want. is fear to fly so it's like the flight within every is the title is flight within flight within. this work is in the collection of museum nice very beautiful yeah it's a cycle of life yeah. urban mirage then i start one series of urban mirage because when we uh when we complete our one target then we start 
journey for and other targets it's like the mirage we are in the mirage of life is a celebration then you are seeing the change in my work yeah very very bright colors yes frame of life mm-hmm. it's also frame of life is a celebration yeah is urban fulkari then i start uh, you know we have one cloth in our india we in punjab basically mm-hmm. we say it's a fulkari fulkari is a cloth which is uh, uh, mother give to uh, uh, mother give her daughter on the wedding ceremony Okay. so it is very vibrant very beautiful so i take the pellets of fulkari okay. and then take the elements of urban elements then i am uh, having and uh, and my award was also on this my series urban fulkari yeah very nice yes a change you can see the change in my work yeah, from colors in are 5 year 10 year yeah it's a lot of change beautiful yeah this is also mystic journey <laughs> mm. really colorful mm. this is also is a combination of different different elements mm-hmm. geographical elements then is urban wise ke we our uh, i'm then again in 16 i use element parrot parrot is a similar wise of human being parrot is a symbol of love parrot is a symbol of soul so i use parrot as a human being so we are noising in our this creation in in the environments so he say urban wise nice <laughs> yeah, these are some drawings mm-hmm. in dry pastels nice so i have long journey and long so i want to show is a mystic journey again uh, i used to paint big canvas is not 3 uh, by 3 4 by 4 5 by 5 6 by 6 right and i'm talking about in feet yeah so i'm not using small canvas but sometime i use 2 by 2 now you can see change in my work this is magical forms yeah it's more towards abstract now yeah i got i got a national award on this work it's a 5 feet by 5 feet nice. it's urban fulkari beautiful yes yeah So madam I I been uh, looking at your work on uh, LinkedIn as well every time that you post anything um most of your works like the ones that you have been posting recently have the face um, of a female um I know uh, from most artists who make faces but like do you have anything in mind like what is your inspiration for these faces is it a specific muse that you have or what is your perspective on that yes uh, uh we are uh, after this after showing this work we are talking about uh, this about the work so first of all i finish this work okay. sure. then we are talking on my concept on my uh, the inspirations mm-hmm. good so i will speedily now speed up the work show sure. the frame you have almost this is also music within yeah is a also red window mm-hmm. this is also one my work paint in 2018 17 is a prayer i mm-hmm. paint goat you have seen the goat when it's always with beautiful eyes with mercy in his eyes he did not know when he will die so i paint this 
in a urban like the soul life beautiful yeah uh, this work is also a journey basically this work i paint uh, like the immigrants immigrants we are also in punjab and it's the same people are coming from different different states so they have a dream like you have seen in Can- our in your uh, in canada to yeah. when the people reach in other places they have a dream they so they want to fulfill their dreams but their their connectivity with their roots is always there so i used this uh, series with the like the journey with immigrants yeah that's very yeah nice. this is these are some drawings with pen and ink beautiful so it's like the face you are seeing the face a lot of faces we have lot of faces in our inside we have not only one face it's lot of faces we have so okay. many faces yeah recently i was in uh, turkey mm-hmm. the that and i paint this canvas is 3 by 4 how was that the place where we are working the name of place was havasu park uh uh-huh. in antalya basically that was in antalya nice this is a goddess hmm. 2018 then is a bull i paint this bull was also painted in turkey in azmir in oh. some workshop i was in azmir so i paint this nice yeah this is swings is 18 2018 hmm. basically i want to show uh, is it gradually change in my work that's true yeah things of friends like things very intimate and now i'm sharing one of these this is a sculpture in grains i did this project with some israel artists uh, the sherley yeah we met in macedonia then she was already working on this project with some iranian lady she was belong to israel then she share with the idea ke every problem settle on dining table so we exchange our ideas then i make these all three dimensional forms uh, in grains different different grains weeds and then maize and then totally different grains these are then is these are lively basically then it's a Uh, some seeds i put some seeds then it grows you can see in next slide yeah yeah i i i these are the three dimensionals like the sculptures with yeah. grains that's very interesting yeah this is also sculpture in grains yeah did you use any glue the as breathing. well or there's no glue in it huh? yeah yeah these are the like the breathing sculptures uh uh-huh. so i make one one part and then i attach with all the things okay <laughs> this was also part of five, i say on silk i said drawing on silk yeah. then it's also is a 20 meter 10 meter 7 meter is that kind of work wow. then i make 3d forms stout sculpture you can say soft sculptures Yeah, yeah, stuff sculptures. Yeah, this is now is end. Beautiful. Yeah, now I will. So, this was the. Yeah. No, it's a fine. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing them. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank nice. you. Thank you. So, yeah, you were going to tell us more about the faces. Yes. So now uh uh you have sent me one few question which I'm sharing with you. One is 
वट इज यूर प्रोस्पेक्टिव इन द आर्ट एंड क्रिएटिविटी मे आई स्पीक अबाउट माई आर्ट एंड क्रिएटिविटी फ्रॉम माई पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू क्रिएटिविटी इज द पार्ट ऑफ माइंड सो वी लिविंग विद अवर सेंस सेंसेज इज द आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग वेन वी आर लिविंग विद अवर ऑल सेंसेज वी आर कॉलिंग इज ए आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग क्रिएटिव एबिलिटी आर इन बिल्ट इन ह्यूमन बींग इज लाइक द इनर इंजीनियरिंग so automatically generate by mother nature yes. we always finding the way to create something original our emotions finding the way of expression the major role in creative process is inspiration yes. which give you energy to transfer your ideas to express something in your own language basic uh, in creative process we want our language we want to say something in our own language so may be it's in visual sometimes it's in poetry sometimes it's in music it's always it's like that sometimes it's a dance performing so my perspective on art is very uh, every creation in art born naturally just need to open your inner eyes or to connect with your own self mm-hmm. then the coordination of your hands and minds work together to give shape of to your ideas right. from my point of view creation is like the prayers when we pray it's like the creation mm-hmm. when you feel this cosmos in your body we are saying that we have five elements in our body mm-hmm. so when you feel this five elements in your in your body then the realization convert into creative energy that's true yeah. i agree with you i'm used to, yes yes art for me is a pursuit of universe language universal language mm-hmm. and before meaning can read in various lines an expression and medium of self realization right for from my concept like the nectar you are this is my poem in punjabi so i write in punjabi sometimes so but some art critics uh, write few words in english so i'm translating in english nectar you are color you are soaked in each moment of life immerse joy to you are i'm weaving a montage of emotions memories dreams reflection and experience in my work beautiful very nice so madan who were you most inspired by for your work or your life who encouraged you the most yeah yeah Mm. It's a very interesting question you send me. Uh, the inspiration was very naturally this question. I first of all, I all <laughs> write your all answers. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time and doing that. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. So I I. I basically these are my words so i first write so i can uh, sometime when you are spontaneously speaking mm-hmm. you are adding something as but when you are speaking on the concerns question then you have to describe the right answer so uh, in reality i am talking about my inspiration and my work this brahmanda this cosmic means in which i am floating with my body and soul the space and time in which i am resisting registered my all activities day to day experience are my source of inspiration self inspiration uh, i i am i'm talking about in art history first my inspiration was mural of azanta indian miniatures 
Indian temples, and uh, you can say also the Egyptian temple. The where the mythology and our history, yeah, and our then you can say uh, Michelangelo, Rubens, Rembrandt, and other our great masters also source of inspiration. Your inspiration, uh, your inspiration changes with the passage of time. Yes. That's In my early expression, my colors palette was inspired from mythology. Mm -hmm. The theme of painting was journey toward light. So I am more connecting with the colors. Sometimes I feel I am cultivating harmony and colors of spring. So I try to paint five elements. Sometimes seasons. Mm -hmm. Basically, our you can say uh, we are saying gurus. We can say teachers are our seasons. When you observe these all seasons, they give you all the things. You can see different flowers in different season, different insects, different butterfly, different behavior of human being. Everything is different in different season. If we start to paint the seasons, we can learn a lot of things from, we can inspire so many things from these seasons. True. Beautifully said. <laughs> so basically, artists always experience searching different way of expressions. Yes. Our inspiration changes with the passage of time. When we stop, the main our inspiration is our roots. When we connect with our roots, mm -hmm. the creative journey then creative journey starts. Then you evolve your own existence into your work. Then you feel your own existence into mm -hmm. your work. Then you feel your work is the part of your body. Then you work, you feel your work is part of your soul. So then it's a all journey of inspirations. Yeah. Beautifully said. Very nice. So, Madan, um, yeah. if you could change anything about yes. yourself, what would that be? Uh, please do speak again. If you could change anything about yourself, what would that be? Yes, yes, yes. It's also a beautiful question. Yeah. Yes. Uh, first of all, I um, uh, welcome the, all my artist friends who join us later on and joining us. And I'm very thankful to uh, uh, giving their valuable time to listening me. So I would like to change my casual approach toward my other works, <laughs> which I'm used to delay. But in my art concern work, I try my best to do on time. I never say no to anyone. That's, that's I good. never say no to anyone. So it's always a lot of work pending those, uh, pending those work then those work disturb my creative journey. Those work disturb my studio routines. Mm -hmm. So I want to be more focused, more aware, more perfect, more expressive on my canvas. Basically, right. we all are slave of our natures. That's true, yeah. Our habits, our temperament. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they support you. Sometimes our own nature disturb us. Sometimes our own temperament disturb us. So it's uh, difficult to deal with our own self. This is basically it's all problem of our uh, own. We are creating problem from our own self, then we are solving problem for our own self. True. Because the habits are with us from so many births, it can't be changed. It's not uh, it's easy to change. It only can be changed with moksha. Moksha, you can understand, is with yoga, with meditation, and with more concern with nature. When we are uh, going from this mad race to close to nature, then we can change ourselves. Otherwise, it's very difficult to change. 
uh, our nature our habits so i am trying to be more true with my own self more committed with my own with my works so i can create some more good works in my life that's that's great so very well said So Madan here's my next question to you it's going to be very difficult <laughs> if you if you could have a superpower what would that be yeah this is, yeah 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 wonderful question tara thanks uh, if i had a superpower what would be uh, as an artist you know i want to i want to i want peace harmony and equality in this world i want peace harmony and equality in this world we take birth on this beautiful planet which is blessed with all essential items which required for our daily livelihood but we start creating lust violence greed fight with each other why we are not here for forever only for some years only for some time and do not know what we are leaving for our children for our society missile atom bombs corona epidemic and can our human race survive with these all assets which we are leaving for our generations we have to think so i will be super power there is open borders for all yeah. the country we can culturally share with our ideas we can culture uh, exchange our uh, relations mm-hmm. uh, we have only so one thing more i am thinking may we have one currency we have uh, about 12 more minutes left yeah. if you want to share anything. okay yeah yes yes from learning of school of life no corporate education we have so many business best hospital more focus on art and culture society growth and no hunger for other occupying the other places so my if i am super power then i want to cultivate harmony peace and beauty on this planet that's a beautiful story. and want to yeah adding more essential thing more nature more beautiful greenery on this earth that would be nice yes i agree with thank you thank you i would love i would love to see that kind of world that would be a beautiful world yes yes it's our world basically we are uh, planning about this world we are thinking about this kind of world <laughs> yeah um so madan we we have about what 10 more minutes left i have only one last question left from you but if you have anything else you would like to share please go ahead and then i will ask uh, you my last question yes yes i will share mm, yes you have one more beautiful question which i like very much do you believe that your art practice makes you healthy person overall that was wonderful question by you Uh, art give you inner eyes see the beautiful world and give you skill to make this world more be- colorful happy and healthy art is the way of celebration when calmness and relax bless then you are able to create work of art mm-hmm. in madras the achievement is frustration mm-hmm. unhappiness and bad health of yes of course art does not only make me happy mm-hmm. but our surrounding also happy and healthy exactly prosper practicing art make you a sensible responsible person mm-hmm. it is add feather in your imagination to fly toward broaderness in life from narrowness vision to broader vision is a art always give you feather to fly from narrowness to broadness vision practicing art is itself a meditation from my point of view and it's a true 
practicing art is a process of meditation when you are more connected with your own self adding more positive energy in your self practicing art give you focus vision mm-hmm. toward blessed life we are not only essential thing in life we are also wasting time on unnecessary work a healthy approach toward betterment of life so practicing art practicing good health and happiness exactly very beautiful thank you so much for reminding me about that i totally forgot about that question that's the most important question of this interview yes 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 yeah your last question The last question is that uh, where our viewers can uh, reach out to you or view your works uh, if you have a website if you're on Instagram uh, your social media pages please let us know Yes yes uh uh I am on you can now it's a virtual world now you can find me on just to write my name on Google YouTube on Facebook you can find me easily and you can see my work on the these on media twitter and uh, you can see my website also is madanartist.com you can see lot of my works my creative journey so i say i am also thankful to loud art society and especially tara wahab to just giving me international platform to share my creative journey so it's a honor i say i'm really thankful I really thank you. Thank you so much madam for joining us and giving me your valuable time. It was a very interesting, insightful and beautiful talk we had. Thank you very much for sharing your beautiful art with us. Um I very much enjoyed it myself. I hope that our viewers also enjoyed it. Um I, Yes. I, yeah. I also want to thank all the uh people who joined us uh, this morning and uh, watched us. watched uh, Madan Lal's uh, artworks and the beautiful talk that he, he gave us i will be sharing some of your artworks after uh, this live as well so people can have a better um, take a look at you know take a better view at your artworks yeah thank you thank you i'm also thankful to all who join us who gave us valuable time to our talk so it's a really honor and thank you very much Thank you so much madam. You yeah, have a great time. Thank you. Yeah, Good thank time. you. Thank you. Wonderful. Bye. Have a blessed time. Thank you. Yes, you. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Bye.